This is uh, an executive, two executive orders that I am going to sign in a minute uh, that is an effort to explicitly and decisively end discrimination based on sexual orientation, gender expression, and identity in the executive branch of our state government. I am urging in doing this, I'm, this is not the end of the game, I am urging the legislature to pass a non-discrimination bill that makes it clear to the world that Pennsylvania is a welcoming place for everyone. This is the right thing for us to do, just as it was the right thing for William Penn to do when he proclaimed that Pennsylvania was a place for everyone, regardless of their religion. But this is also the smart thing to do. PayPal's, I'm sure you're aware of this, PayPal's recent decision not to add 500 new jobs uh, in North Carolina uh, because of that state's insistence on promoting a culture of discrimination shows that this is economically the smart thing to do. Like PayPal, businesses want to invest in places that show they value all people who are willing to work hard, who are willing to take risks, who are willing to raise a family or build a business. And we need to make sure that we have a level playing field in Pennsylvania because economies and commonwealths can't thrive on a playing field that isn't level. We need to ensure that Pennsylvania is a welcoming place, regardless of the color of one's skin, person's gender, religion you profess, or the person you love. We need to understand that a future that does not take non-discrimination seriously is a poor future indeed. We can and we should in Pennsylvania do better. And I'm troubled by the fact that the General Assembly is shown inaction on passing non-discrimination legislation. Pennsylvania needs to go on record to proclaim that all people, regardless of sexual orientation, gender expression, or identity, are treated equally under Pennsylvania law. So while I wait for the legislature to send non-discrimination legislation to my desk, which I will sign, I am today signing these executive orders. In other words, these executive orders are a first step toward the non-discriminatory legislation we all know we need. These executive orders, the one that applies to the Commonwealth employees and the other that applies to grants and to procurement say that no agency under the governor's jurisdiction shall discriminate against any employee or applicant for employment on the basis of race, color, religious creed, ancestry, union membership, age, gender, sexual orientation, gender identity and expression, national origin, AIDS or HIV status, or disability. Each agency under the governor's jurisdiction will ensure fair and equal employment opportunities. The employment practices of the Commonwealth must be non-discriminatory. And all businesses contracting with the Commonwealth must use non-discriminatory practices in subcontracting, hiring, promoting, and other labor matters. The point again is that fairness matters. None of us can lead full lives if all of us don't. A society that is unfair to some is unfair to all. If we want a healthy economy, if we want a strong democracy, if we want a just society, we have to do this. This is why non-discrimination is important, and it's why these executive orders are important. Again, this is a small step in the broader effort to make sure all Pennsylvanians fear, feel that their lives matter, that broader, that broader effort includes equitable and adequate education funding, a fair minimum wage, and good government. We all want Pennsylvania to have a bright future. These initiatives, what I'm signing today, make, will make for that brighter future. My hope is that the General Assembly comes around to agree with me and share the point of view that we need to move forward together. So thank you very much. I'm going to sign this executive order. If, if you want to, what I'm going to do is sign the executive order, then I'll come back here and, and take questions. So, one, let's, uh, let me get in the middle here. <coughs> you sit here. You need to sit here. You all have to stand. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm going to sign, this is the executive order in equal opportunity. And the date is? September. September. <laughs> I want to make sure I get this right. And then Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Wolf. There. Thank you, Mr. Cobb. <laughs>